guys. I hope you had an awesome Easter weekend and an awesome Monday. I wrote a poem recently and I finished it yesterday on Resurrection Sunday. And I feel like God's been really moving my heart and my spirit and <laughs> recently, these past couple days. Rather, it's through small groups um, or listening to a podcast on Instagram. Just, he's been really moving in me um, recently. And considering what I told you guys last week about me being diagnosed with diabetes and i um, not going to go too much into detail because I might start crying. So, um, this poem is really a testament to that, what I've been going through, and God's love for me, and how he's given my life more purpose, and I just, this whole weekend I felt really emotional, because I feel so connected um, to whether it's a podcast or a message from Pastor Tim, I just feel... Um, the weight of Easter um, more so than I ever had before because, again, I could have died several months ago, but I didn't, and I'm still here. And, <laughs> again, try not to cry. I'm still here. I do have a purpose, just like all of you guys. So I'm going to start reading this poem, and here we go. Earth is falling apart beneath me, tearing away at the fabric of my skin. Don't recognize who's wearing my flesh. As the shadows of pain surrounds me, God's love saves me from my broken spirit. <sighs> Again, try not to cry. So that poem is called Broken. I feel it can resonate with you guys and everybody else in general who's ever been in a dark place and <sighs> who's ever been in a dark place and God's love rescued them from their own darkness. And it just, I feel really connected to that poem. It's a real testament of God's love for me and the fact that I do have a purpose, I do have a plan. And I'm still here. So, um, that's my poem. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry if you end up crying in the beginning. Fair warning. And can't wait to see you guys on Thursday. Bye!